when you think of possum, well, you probably think the same thing that we do, which you all do on the road or maybe in the trash. But there are possum enthusiasts who say there's more to this animal than just playing dead. Sydney Edwards has more. Sydney. Yes, that's right, Kim. Workers at Opie Acres say without possums, our yards and streets would be littered with insects and even unwanted animals. Plus, did you know that they are the only marsupial in North America? They carry their babies, sometimes up to 13 at a time in their pouch. Workers say that means space at Opie Acres is a bit snug. Possums are probably um, the most forgotten wild animal and the most misunderstood wild animal. Opie Acres is a rehab facility for hawks, owls, skunks, all sorts of wildlife, but more specifically, possums. Um, this is where I do all the medical treatments. We give antibiotics, uh, we do wound care, uh, we give uh, uh, sub-Q fluids. And they currently hold nearly 85 baby possums and countless adults that are being rehabbed back into society. 99% of the time, our, um, our babies come from mothers who have been hit by cars or attacked by dogs. That's our main two things. However, Jerry Harvey says it's possum season and they're expecting more than 400 babies this year. The thing is, is, you know, possums are the most important animal that you can have on your property. They eat and kill thousands, you know, five to 10,000 ticks each a year, which helps control the ticks and Lyme disease. Uh, they also kill and eat poisonous snakes. Harvey says they rarely carry rabies and that their diets are pretty complex, which is one reason why he advises against anyone caring for a possum on their own. If you don't know exactly what you're doing and how to do it, you will destroy that animal's life, plain and simple. Harvey is a vet tech, and he says it's difficult enough for them to feed and care for these animals. But after 30 years of work, they have it figured out. People have always asked me why possums, and for me, it's, you know, because they are uh, the most forgotten, and I just have a lot of compassion for them. But above and beyond all that, it's just they're so interesting. Harvey could not imagine a world without these gentle creatures. Our properties and our land would be so riddled with uh, the dead and dying uh, plants and animals that, that we would be able to do nothing else but clean up. Volunteers at Opie Acres care for these animals until they're healed or of age and eventually release them back into the wild. Now, Jerry Harvey says Opie Acres is made possible by community volunteers and donations, but they're always in need of more. If you'd like to help out, Harvey says you can donate paper towels, baby wipes, and even Purina dog chow. Kim. City, thank you. If you see any wildlife animal in nature that needs help, it's always best to call professionals for help like Opie Acres or even animal control.